Hello, hello. Welcome back to more Gordian Quest. Um, we are still in the campaign, still in Act 1. We just finished uh, the main town event where we killed a necromancer. That was pretty cool. Um, and we have now unlocked the ability to travel outside of town, which is cool. Uh, so it looks like we've got a couple things to do and a campsite that we can get to for free. Uh, we have not done a campsite yet because it costs supplies, but I'm think I'm pretty sure we can have like conversations and upgrade our like team building or something. Um, yeah, up until then, I think there's some exploration events for us to do. So that's cool. Crypt entrance. Your markers will be reset. Descend deeper into the area. Plus one supply, plus one supply. Don't really care about these encounters. Okay, let's go inside the crypt. Gilded coffer. Urns, loose rock, random item. Locate shrines, reveal a bonus shrine. Uh, can we get all of these? Let's see if we can get these without having to deal with that fight. Never mind. Seems like we're fighting. Lose 10% of your max HP. Uh, what? Well, that's weird. What does this do? I don't know what that thing does. Um, I guess we can try to get all the way over here. Will not work. Got some gold. I guess that's all we can do in here, huh? All right. Uh, Gilded Coffer, Potion Merchant. Oh, all right. Let's fight the, uh, or fight. Let's go to the Potion Merchant. Oh, why are you running, girl? Oh, she's coming to me. Oh, thanks. Oh, the dude? Okay, sorry, my bad. Uh, ooh, lots of really good potions here. Uh, I might want, like, a lot of this. Medium health file. Restores 35. We're definitely buying... What does this do? Recovers 2 AP. Yeah, we're definitely buying all of those. I've got so much gold. Remove 3 exhaustion. Um, we'll pick up... I think we already have one of those in our inventory. 60 HP. Might as well buy these, I think. Since uh, I don't know where else we can get these from. Gain 3 Fury. 2 Avert. I don't know what Avert is, but... Fine at all. Uh, I don't know if we'll really deal with a lot of exhaustion or not, but all right, cool. We, uh, that was a good shop to run into. Something actually useful to spend my money on. Mud patch. Oh, another potion merchant. Dirt mound. Um, okay. Abandoned camp. Spawns monster in a random location. Oh. I don't think we can make it to the... Yeah. 30% chance seems better than... Nothing found. Alright, I guess we can see if you have any different potions. No? No, it doesn't seem so. All right, let's 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 get the little ones. And then these specialty ones. Okay, we're down to 900. So we spent a good half of our gold, I think. But I think it's worth. Okay. All right, let's go to the campfire. Uh, Before we do that, let's make sure and turn on equip some of these potions okay 
I guess you have to equip them in the order. Uh, how do I not equip you? Oh, that's really unintuitive. I don't like that at all. I thought I bought a bunch of health potions. Okay, well, I'll give you a medium one. Yeah, okay. Alright, uh, uh, campfire. Let's use the campsite. Camp! You are now camping. Nice. Camping gives you a brief res respite to heal and prepare for the journey ahead. Camping happens over 5 hours or 12 hours if doing so on a campsite. When time runs out, you will return to your adventure. Start by stoking the campfire to obtain an activity card. You can play this card on any available hero. The clock on the top left corner of the card represents the number of hours the hero will be occupied for. In this case, st stoking the campfire requires one hour. You can pass an hour by using this button. If all heroes have an activity assigned, time will also automatically pass automatically until one or more activities are done. Okay. Plan your activities as they all have a specific time or resource cost and usually needs to be allocated for at least one free hero. Make the best use of the time available to prepare for the long road ahead. Okay, this is a complicated mini game, but I think I understand what's going on. Draw a more, more meal. I don't know what that does. Draw a special activity card. All right, we got 12 hours. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, each hero has two unique camp abilities, which may require resources to use. Using them will add the displayed activity card to your hand. You can get more activities by spending supplies to draw a card or by letting the hour pass. In addition, the hour will automatically pass if all heroes are engaged. Okay, I think I understand. <clears throat> okay, so we can heal people, we can recover HP, remove all buffs, find supplies, gain exhaustion, gain zero to one fate. The next battle party gains buff, granting four guard every turn. Heal target hero. Recall heroes recover. The next two battles party gains a buff, granting one might every turn. Forge. Set up a tent. Gain one exhaustion. Heroes increase. Hero increases a skills rank by one. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Rote mastery. Um, gain. Set up a tent in camp. Gain one exhaustion. Pitch a tent. Uh, let's pitch a tent. Okay, and I guess we can stoke the campfire. So you can. Stoke the campfire. You can pitch a tent. And this takes five hours, but we increase the skill rank by one. Okay. okay. So these guys reduce time cost of a random card in hand by one. Oh, you know. Okay. Recover 10% of maximum HP. Remove two exhaustion. Turns into a coal meal if unconsumed. Uh, interesting. Gain zero to one fate. Let's do that.
Oh, dang. She actually found a fate. That's dope. Let's go, Ida. Obtain some stuff. That costs a lot of supplies, though, huh? What does the tent do? Recover 20% of max HP per hour. Remove three exhaustion per hour. When completed, remove all exhaustion. Ah. Oh. Okay, so that means we can do stuff that costs a lot of exhaustion and then have them rest in the tent to remove the exhaustion. That's kind of cool. Don't know that I need... that stuff uh sure let's do this okay increase skill rank i want to increase bloodshot i think because this card is cracked uh so it's just flat damage i think um doesn't increase the number of bleed stacks this is seven this is increasing bleed stacks. This is damage and bleed. Interesting. Plus four. Okay. This doesn't scale that well, but I think it's still pretty worth. This is my big payoff card that I'm trying to combo off of. Intrusion Raiders. Play on a heart target hero to remove this card. If I play a turn end, this card and lose five to ten supplies. Okay, I guess. Um, let's rest the tent. Okay. Game two supplies, sure. Okay. Wow, this is really interesting. Two more hours in the tent, and then I guess we just gain more supplies. Minus two supplies. All unoccupied heroes draw chat. Oh, I do want to chat. Um, cost zero. I want to play this after. Uh, this. Okay, now I can chat. Start a conversation with another hero. An activity cancel. Uh, oh, so they can only chat with each other. Okay. Uh, uh, we can stoke the campfire. Draw a special activity card. Yeah, let's gain some stuff like that. Whatever that's called. The, I don't remember. Friendship or something. Target here draws. One of their camp abilities, let's chat. Okay, so they start a random chat, I guess. Draw cleansing ritual, removes all present persistent debuffs affecting the party. Eh, let's gain more friendship. Nice, uh, I think this is our last hour, so we'll do this and do that. Very nice. Return to your adventure. Okay, well, that was interesting. I don't really know, like, what that was about. But I guess exhaustion now is... We, we've got some exhaustion going on. But, uh... Yeah. I guess we'll just keep going. The waypoint is just up ahead. It should allow for quick travel back to the garrison. Nice, we activated a waypoint, and now we can do that. Oh, I guess we can go back to the garrison directly, no matter what. Hmm. 
Okay, the burial grounds waypoint has been attuned to the garrison. This will enable swift travel between the areas from now on. Yes. As for the Rift Lord's location, the grounds contain various catacombs that he could conceivably be residing in. The ley lines connect in the area, but the maps we have aren't detailed enough. There's some guesswork to be done, I'm afraid. So it seems, Traveler, you'll have to investigate each of these three crypts in the area to find the Rift Lord's hideout. Okay. Oh, we got a merchant now. Hello, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're the heroes who defended Silverkeep and helped me get my business back on track. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Marco, just a humble trader. I don't think you're very humble. But as you can imagine from the past week, it has not been a particularly good time to be around here. Anyway, I sell sorts... All sorts of fancy things that may be of interest to you, adventuring swords. I'd be happy to do business with the right price, of course. Let this be the beginning of a highly profitable relationship. Profitable for you, I'm sure. Alright, uh, what you got? Ooh, you got some crazy armor. Okay, you are selling stuff for so much money. What a, What is that? Tokens be, can be traded to Marco for a chance at... Uh... Okay, so we have tokens now. Uh, we only have one token. New hand will be offered when all cards are drawn. The vendor stock restocks or a small furnishing, furnishing a small fee. Oh goodness. Random legendary. So it costs three tokens to do a legendary. Uh, and tokens uh, seem to be quite expensive. Um. Hmm. Legendary medium armor. So what kind of stuff does a legendary armor give you? Plus one guard with strength defense skills. Plus two guard with dex defense skills. When hit, you have a 15% per fury charge to have the damage taken. Plus two physical resist. Uh, gain one fury plus one fury for every five bleed on all units. Interesting. Stable's Needle grants momentum, which is a passive. After dealing damage, gain critical equal to the number of targets hit multiplied by five. Oh, that seems quite good. Gain two guard when you move a cell. Gain two critical when you move a cell. Ah, uh, so... Good for, uh, good for moving around. Healer's Precept. Recover 2 HP when you use a skill with a heal tag. Reduce bleed received by 2 plus 1 intelligence. Wow. Nice. So some self-healing, too. Uh, this is a reset? I don't know what this is. I don't know what slot this goes in. Maybe your offhand? I don't know. All right, Marco, you're expensive. I get it. Recommended a level 11. What uh, level are we? Nine? Okay, I guess maybe we want to try and level up a little bit first. These are all the crypts. Alright, let's try a crypt. Uh, level 10. Okay, we're a little under leveled. See what's here first. Let's try this first. Would like to maybe try and level up a little bit. Might help. Gain some more base stats. Okay. Uh alright. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice. Trigger the bleed. Then let's move over one. Uh, we can summon the spirit wolf. Nice. And we don't have any way to. Oh my goodness! That was so much damage. Uh, oh my goodness. Alright. Uh, I would like to heal myself. Yes. Be a 
Yes, indeed. Now we can smite for one. Collect. Alright. Kill you. Catherine's a little bit low. So maybe we need to make sure she doesn't take too much damage. Fight this guy. Ooh, scary. All right, you're going to deal 14 damage and apply five bleed. Uh, wow, Catherine is a little too slow. I don't really like that. Uh, 20 damage close range. Has limited range. Hmm. Hmm. Let's summon a spirit bear in critical. And then let's see if we can knock out some of these guys. Uh, 38. He's pretty good. Nice follow up. Okay. Uh, let's move back one. Get an ice shard here. He should die now. Uh, plus, there's no bleed on this. 31. Let's do that. Might as well. Okay. Righteous Flame is pretty insane. Also, Holy Force for even more fire damage. And Blessed Strike. Uh, nice, perfect. We can healing wisps and pass. And this should go. Very nice. There we go. Two characters leveled up. Plated belt plus one to strength based challenges. Alright, what can we grab here that would. Uh, we can learn a new skill. And boost some card values and add an additional skill point. Now we already got our anatomical knowledge. I think we actually just want the raw strength because this just gives us more damage on the card, right? <clears throat> Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so, we already have the initiative, and we want to learn a new skill. All right, let's go. Uh, we can draw... I think we would really like... more of these ice spells. Cover 5 HP, deal 6 damage 2 times to all enemies. Wow, Blood Gush seems crazy. Uh, yeah, okay. I want I want stuff from this. Draw life. Imply 1 bleed to yourself and an ally. Intrinsic potent. Yeah. This is the one that we need that takes... A bleed for you and then you get bleed synergy like power from blood right activates after you apply bleed two times gain one for your gain for heart something like that deal forward to damage to self or ally other allies recover two hp plus two for each bleed day hmm okay all right blood magic Nice. Lots of fury. This is good. I think that's solid because we apply bleed all the time. So. Um, do we want Holy Warrior or do we want... Gain two respect points. I don't know what a respect point is. Those are the... Costumes, learn skill, or holy warrior skills. Um, hmm. 
We can just gain stats. Uh, gosh. I can't remember what I wanted for Catherine. I feel like we need better defensive spells. I want Fortify. Does any of these guys give me Fortify? Fortify is the goat. Oh, here. Vigil. Generate plus 30% X guard for the next X instances. Okay, so it's like bonus armor. Looking for fortify, looking for fortify. Double your armor. Hmm. You're alone in the front row. Gain two vigil on turn start. Wow, that kind of happens a lot. Power attack, knockback. Heavy block, gain Apply two speed down on one route to press the attack, deal four damage, add a copy of the skill into your discard pile, deal plus four every time this skill is played this turn. Oh, interesting. Huh. Spirit healer. Um, restore 26 HP, increase target's max life by 100 for the duration of this battle. What? That's absolutely bonkers. Is that, am I seeing that right? This is basically make somebody invincible. I mean, still probably kind of low level, so. Alright, let's unlock this. Kill bash. Deal 20, apply to knockback. Uh, heavy blow, enfeeble, deals 30% less damage. Trigger, gain one immunity when a debuff card is played on you as a 15% chance. Not be discarded when triggering. Uh, we don't have any trigger cards. So, could be cool. Just kind of like allows me to stay immune Reduce negative effects. So I kind of like it. It's certainly better than these uh, kind of generic smack em attacks, which I don't think I need more of. I have ways to deal damage and defensive stuff. So, okay. All right. Let's go explore. Uh, we'll just head towards. This chesty thing. Alright, what's in the box? Topaz ring. Lightning resist. That seems real useless. Okay, arriving at the stairway to the lower crypts. Feel a familiar chill and dread wash over you. The Rift Lord is most definitely in here. A wispy shadow bar barrier seems to bar the way forward. A black gem floats in the center of the passage, quaking with turbulent energies. When you step near it, you feel your limbs freeze up, and the sudden weight of a hundred voices screaming in your head sends you reeling backwards. The way forward is sealed off for the moment. Perhaps Wynne will have some insight. Alright, sounds like we cannot continue. Uh, we go. That's right, Kuda. <laughs> what a thrill! <laughs> this guy, this guy doesn't. This oh, deadly encounter. Another shrine. Okay, so we unlock some more of the map here. Another campfire. Safe passage. Okay, that's kind of cool. Removes two exhaustion like that. Very nice. Check out this event. Uh, you take rest under the shade of some trees. The wind is cool and refreshing against your skin. Um, 
<laughs> what are we rolling for? It's an int perception check, okay? Very nice. A nearby tree captures your eye. There appears to be a hallowed out portion of the trunk containing a small satchel. The contents indicate that it may have been squirreled away by a thief or mugger. Smuggler. Got a plated belt. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, I guess we're gonna go talk to Wynn. Oh. An impenetrable barrier of shadows. Sounds like necromancy at work. Heretical magic, if you will. Our history books tell us that the Venai does devise spells like these fueled by pain and ritual sacrifice. It's a blessing that the bloodstained knowledge of these arts have died with them. Yet outside the reaches of the law, there are some who delve into these depths of madness, unafraid of persecution or the fatal consequences of dabbling with something they don't understand. The cultists that you fought earlier are working to further the Rift Lord's goals. That much is clear. If we can find them, it'll lead us closer to the Rift Lord. The black gem you saw is likely an obsidian stone, a reagent that keeps this barrier active. If you can find more of the same stones, it's possible we could use its properties to cancel the barrier's effect. If anyone knows where to find more of them, it would be the Merchant Marco. Obsidian, now that you mention it, some months ago, two of my caravans were attacked en route to Silverkeep. Drivers got away with their lives, but my commodities were stolen. The first time it happened on a route through the Vale Woods, the second was along the moors. I suppose these areas would be a good starting point if you're searching for some obsidian. You'd be doing me a favor as well if you can find the interlopers and brought them to justice. Ugh. The Vale Woods and the Moors are to the west and south, respectively. I'll mark them, mark down the fastest routes to the waypoints in the region on your map. In recent months, the animals that roam the Vale Woods have become far more aggressive, attacking patrol groups. Yeah, 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 it's dangerous. I'm getting tired of reading all this text. I suspect the cultists are large, are at large. Okay, barely enough manpower. Time is of the evidence. Safe travels. Okay, so. More zones unlocked. Okay, cool. We're finally getting to the larger map. Uh, looks like we've got a boss fight to get to the moorlands. And a boss fight to get to the Vale Woods. Cool. Uh, my voice is getting tired from all this talking. And I've been recording for a little while now. Uh, so I'm going to call it here. And next time we'll pick this up. Uh, to maybe check out some of these other zones. Uh, but yeah, uh, so far, I would say I do like this game. Uh, there is a lot of text. I don't know that it really needs so much backstory, uh, but I guess it's for those folks who really enjoy backstory. Um, if you've watched all the way to this point uh, and still are um sticking around towards the end of these videos uh i would love to hear your thoughts on this game uh what do you think do you think there is room for less dialogue do you like the dialogue how do you feel about the skill tree and the way that you kind of have to draft from particular card pools uh as far as a campaign mode uh, i'm not sure that i'm super in love with how long and drawn out this is i do think that maybe uh, for the complexity level, it kind of requires something like a campaign mode, but I would be curious to see how more of a streamlined gameplay experience would would uh would look like. So, would love to hear your thoughts. If you feel free, feel like leaving a comment, uh, I'll I'll definitely read all of them. Uh, so, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, yeah, take it easy.